Before we get into this video, I ask that you will subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I also want you to turn on that notification bell so you can know when I post a new video. All right, I've been getting a lot of messages about my videos that I'm posting regarding Geno Jennings. Now, I had some people that asked me to say, well, they saying that I didn't show no, um, no video of it, you know, so they don't know what I'm talking about or whatever. So what I want to do is I have one video. It's going to be a short clip because I'm not going to sit there and go through all the Geno Jennings videos and prove to y'all. But I want to show you one example of how, of what I'm talking about by saying that you can take a scripture and you and, and put your own interpretation on it. All right. Now I want to show you why you should believe as it is written. Now, I'm a, now look at this video clip. I got a Geno Jennings. I want you to watch it. Then I'm going to come along and I'm going to tell you exactly what the scriptures say compared to what he says. Listen. Right. Are you getting me? Go ahead. Still there. That's right. What did he say? My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? What happened? Jesus, when he had cried again. All right. When he had cried again. With a loud voice. What did he do? Yielded up the ghost. Hold it. There was two cries made. That's right. The Bible said when a man died, mm -hmm. his spirit go upwards. Upwards. Now, you had the function of God as natural spirit or natural breath. That's right. Now, that's what it said when he cried again. Cried he again. gave up the ghost, his natural breath. That's right. But when he cried the first time, God came out. God came out. Because, see, God had to go to another world. That's right. Where the sun couldn't preach. That's right. Why? The sun was local. That's right. The sun can only be in one place at a time. That's right. But the spirit had to go to the world of the dead. That's right. What you mean the world of the dead? Starting from Adam? Starting all the way from Adam. That's right. Huh? That's right. Starting all the way from go ahead. Adam's death. Go ahead. The spirit go to the lower parts of the earth. That's right. The preacher of those spirits that was in prison. In the book of First That's Peter. why John said he was the first begotten of the dead. That's right. When Jesus rose, all the dead didn't rise after him. No. Some of them did. No. Just left an example. So here That's you right. had the body lost natural life, blood. And lost the eternal life, spirit. spirit. And the spirit went to the lower parts of the earth preaching. That's right. Yeah. Huh? Now, the body. Now, the problem is, Geno Jennings only associates the Son of God with being a body. See, that's his problem. He is teaching people that the Son of God was just a body and he was just flesh. You know, see, that's the issue. Because he failed to realize that the Son of God was given a life. And he was given life in himself just like the Father has life. Alright? Now, let me show you that. And then I want to go to who went to the spirits in prison who preached to him. Now look, John chapter 5. Look at verse 26. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself. Then it goes on to tell you how um, in, in God, how he had given him authority to execute judgment, for he is the Son of Man, all right? So now let's see who went and preached to the spirits in prison, because Geno said that the Son is local. All right. Now you heard him say for yourself that he's local. He can only be in one place at one time. Then he say the spirit went and preached to the spirits in prison. But let's see what the scripture says. Now, first Peter chapter three. Let's go to verse start at verse 18. It says for Christ. Now, notice we are talking about Christ. Now, for people may say, oh, well, Christ is God. That's God the Father, that's Christ. Well, Matthew chapter 1, verse 16 tells you who Christ is. And for those who haven't watched my video before, let me go to it. Then I got one more scripture to show you who Christ is. Matthew chapter 1, I'm just going to read verse 16. 
It says, And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So we got the one that was born from Mary, who is called Jesus, who is, uh, yeah, who is born Jesus. He is the one that was called Christ. Now, when we look at the book of Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 2, let's go right on to verse 36. It says, Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God had made that same Jesus whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. So God made that same Jesus whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. So we see who Christ is according to the scriptures. I don't care what no man tell you. I care about what the Bible says. Now let's go to 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. For Christ also had once suffered for sins. Who suffered for sins? Christ. We know that's Jesus, the Son of God. He says, For Christ had once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God. See, that's a, that also lets you know right there who Christ is. It's not God the Father because it says that he might bring us to God. So that's the Son of God. It says, being put to death in the flesh, who had flesh? Who was put to death in the flesh? Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It says, but, it says, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. So this one that was put to death in the flesh, in the flesh this Christ, who once suffered for our sins, to bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but guess what? but quickened by the spirit. So quicken means to be made alive or to be resurrected. So Christ, though he was put to death in the flesh, but look, but quickened by the spirit, by which also he went and preached to the spirits in prison. See, now Gino said that the spirit went and preached to the spirits in prison. But the scripture says that Jesus, my Christ, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the spirit. That means that he was made alive by the spirit. Yes, he was put to death in the flesh, but he was quickened by the spirit. He was quickened by the spirit. Let me say that again. He was put to death in the flesh but quickened by the spirit by which he by which also he by which also he so it's talking about the spirit is by which also he talking about Christ went and preached to the spirits in prison so he was put to death in his flesh but he was made alive by the spirit and by the spirit is is the is is um that's how he went and preached to the spirits in prison because he was quickened by the spirit so that's why i want to show you it was still christ that went and preached to the spirits in prison it was still christ it was still that one that suffered on the cross. It was still the one that suffered for sins that he might bring us to God being put to death in the flesh. And the scripture is clearly telling you, but he was quickened by the spirit. He was quickened by the spirit. By which also he went and preached to the spirits in prison. So he was able to go to those spirits in prison and preach to them by the spirit. So who you gonna believe? One more thing I wanna I wanna add. Because Gino only associates the Son of God with being a body, right? He only associates that body that Jesus was in, the body that was born of Mary, as being the Son of God. But what the scriptures say? Now when we look at Revelation chapter 2. We all can say this is after Jesus had already been put to death in the flesh and resurrected and went to heaven. Can you agree? If you can agree to that, look at Revelation chapter 2. Since he only associates the body with the Son of God with being the body, let's see what the scripture says. Revelation 2.18 And unto the angel of the church of Thyatira, 
right? These things said the Son of God, who had his eyes like unto a flame of fire and his feet are like fine brass. Now, the Son of God, it, said, it says right here, these things said the Son of God. But he said that was the body. But yet the scriptures say, these things said the Son of God. This is after he had already resurrected. So Jesus so-called going back to spirit and the Son of God was only the body, but yet the Son of God is talking right here. Now let's look at um, the same. Let's go to Revelation chapter 3, the next chapter over. Let's look at um, verse, verse 5. It says, he that overcometh, the same shall be caught in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father. Now, if Jesus is the father, how is the son of God talking right here saying that I will confess his name before my father and before his angels? Now, look at verse one. And unto the angel of the church in Sardis, right? These things said he that hath the seven spirits of God. So how is this God here to my God, the father, when this is the one that had the seven spirits of God and the seven stars? And yet he goes on to say in verse five, I will not blot out his name out of the book, book of life, but I will confess his name before my father. Now, chapter two, let you know that these things said the son of God. So who you going to believe, people? I know y'all love men so much and y'all defend men so much. But why can't you defend the man Christ Jesus? Why can't you defend his word? But yet you will take another man's word for it. That's up to you. You believe what you want. I'm going to give you this scripture and. In uh, Revelation 3, uh, 21, look, to him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. So now you got the same son of God saying that if you overcome, just like I overcame and am set down with my father in his throne, he says, he says, um, He'll, he'll grant for you to sit down. Uh, let's read it. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. So who you going to believe the son of God is? Just a body? The son of God was not just nobody. The son of God was not just nobody. This is a man talking here. This is a man. That's why there is one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus, the son of God is a man, not just a body. But you know what? I'm going to let you believe what you want. Uh, it's my job that God has sent me just to show you the scripture. And if you would take a man's word over what the scriptures say and try to fall back on, well, you, 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 you got to have an understanding. Well, believe what you want. Believe what you want. But I believe what's written.